Hello everybody, Rick here again. In this video I'm gonna give you some tips to improve your movement in Battlefield 3. But before we go to the tips, I will show you my settings in-game. Uh, you can see that my mouse sensitivity is on the low side in Battlefield 3 itself. Um, but with my G500 in the Logitech setpoint options, I'm using 2300 DPI, so that's a bit on the more high side. Uh, although in-game it's on the quite low side. Um, the vehicle mouse sensitivity is a bit lower. Um, then the normal mouse sensitivity, um, the raw mouse input is off, uh, nothing really important here. What is important are the key bindings. Uh, I'm using the standard WSDA um, controls, um, but some things I did change. So you can see my crouch button is on the C and my prone button is on the X. Um, some people may ask like, how can you like use the C and the X when it's like so close together? Um, I'm using my uh, my thumb of my left hand um, to maneuver to it. Um, it took some years of practice to like, um, yeah, get it going, uh, but I'm quite used to it now. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is how I play. Also, the sprint is uh, shift, and that's really normal. Um, the things that I did switch, uh, my primary weapon is on the second, and my secondary weapon is on my number one key. Um, this is used to because I'm played so many hours of Battlefield Bad Company 2 where this was all the way around, so li the way it is right now for me. Um, and in normal Battlefield 3 your handgun is on the second one. So I always like um, <laughs> got confused about which key I had to press, but now I fixed it, so that's no problem. Okay, so this is my first tip. Um, a lot of people you know it already, but um, I'll tell you anyway. Um, every time you play you should use a sprint perk, because it gives you a boost. Um, it's really important uh, to win even a couple of seconds and every time I play with, like, without a sprint, a sprint perk um, I do notice it that I'm running really really slower um, and I like my movement really fast uh, you already saw it in my previous videos um, sometimes I really move like a maniac so but um, an extra thing that you can do to even uh, increase your speed by a little bit um, like add it to the sprint perk is um, running with your secondary weapon. But not only running with your secondary weapon, but also jumping in between. So you go like this, and it is faster. I tested it. Um, you run faster w this way, and you can save a lot of tickets. Um, if you're like faster in a flag, um, you can cap the flags faster. Uh, you're gonna get, you're gonna help your team. Um, you're gonna get uh, more tickets. Um, no bleed, so yeah, you can, you can really help your team with it. Plus in wars it's also really important, I mean, um, timing is such so important um, that if you, even a couple of seconds can make the complete difference between win or lose. Okay guys, here's my second tip. It has to do with the jump boost. Um, it's actually a boost that you get uh, when you jump from a, from a higher point uh, to a lower point and you press your jump button exactly when you hit the ground. Um, you're gonna get a, a huge increase in distance that you're gonna be able to jump. Plus you're gonna save a couple of seconds or a couple of milliseconds uh, to get in the flag. So if you're like here in this building and you want to go really fast to A, um, it's actually really easy. You jump out, you press, see how far I went. I mean I jumped from there all the way to here. Okay I jumped maybe till here and then I get a some sort of gliding or sliding uh, distance. But you see how fast it goes. I mean I jumped from the building, I hit the middle of the stairs and like half a second later I'm against this uh, balustrade here. Okay, here's another example of this uh, jump boost. See how far I glided again? So I'm here and I jumped over here somewhere. So it's like from here to here um, and I jumped from the first window. And I didn't even take any damage because they yeah, kind of fixed um, the falling damage. Although you still can take some damage when you fall on the, a wrong position that's maybe not fixed or something. But uh, it is possible to use it um, at more locations, not only here on Sina Crossing. Um, but it doesn't work all the time. Uh, but if you can use it, um, I s really... Um, uh, how do you call it? I really recommend it that you use it. Uh, because you see how fast it goes. I mean, you jump out of the window, you jump here, and you're instantly there. So, um, yeah, this is uh, just another example of it. My third tip has to do with keep up your speed um, and keep on moving. Uh, it's really important that you always stay in movement. Um, 
it disorientates uh, your enemy, it confuses your enemy, um, it gives you an advantage that you're faster than the enemy. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you look here, um, I'm just keep on running, jumping, keep on running. Um, you see, a lot of guys um, go like in the building. You can even go like here. A lot of guys go like this in the building. So really slowly. Uh, but it doesn't really matter because the enemy, if he's on the top here, he will hear you even coming from uh, below. Um, I'm not sure if really you guys know, but uh, you can hear the enemy. Um, if you tune up your volume a bit of your headset or um, your speakers, I do recommend that you play with headset. Um, you will be able to hear the guy. You hear the exactly the same footsteps like you hear right now. But you will, you will hear it like in a bit of an echo, uh, like below you. So you, it is able to hear like the enemy coming. Um, plus the advantage, if you hear the enemy coming and you're like the only guy here on the top, um, and you know that there are like two or three guys coming, you will not be able to hold three guys. Two is possible, three is quite hard. Um, so if you're like, no, if you like see him already coming here and he's running, like I did in the, in the first seconds, um, then you can just jump out a window, jump here, go down and go back up. They will be like confused like, hey, where is the enemy? Um, and then you can have a better shot at killing all those guys here. Um, plus, um, by doing this, by doing this jump, and like, yeah, in the best hope that nobody's like um, in the container or the garage or the dark room, um, it is possible that uh, like one guy jumps out um, and one or two stays here. So then you split up the enemy squad or enemy team um, and you can pick him off uh, one by one so this is my third tip okay my fourth tip for you guys has to do with planning your movement it sounds a bit weird but I'll try to explain um, it has to do with basically two things uh, first of all you should, you should try to memorize um, all the things of the map that's uh, of importance like for example the spawn points uh, on all the flags uh, the flag positions um, the cap range of the flag, uh, ways where the tank can rush, ways where the uh, infantry can rush, um, which buildings you can go in, which buildings you can jump out of, uh, yeah, all those, all those kind of stuff. And you should plan your movement towards that. I mean, if you know there is a building where you can jump out of, use it. Um, it's it's in the game, so I mean, why shouldn't you not use it? And the second thing, I mean, has to do with um, yeah, planning your movements in advance a bit. Uh, thinking about it um, and just playing with your brain. I mean, if you have A flag and the enemy has C, like it's always the same on China, uh, where the uh, US has the A flag and the Russians has the C flag. I mean, don't go like a moron uh, and run instantly to the C flag from Dark Room because you will even get shot, like probably from here. Uh, or you're gonna take a rocket to this wall, um, or you're gonna get shot by going on the stairs from somebody in the building. Um, you will die here anyway. I mean, just use your brain um, and then everything will work out. So, okay, I'm gonna... Okay, guys, my last tip is about strafe running. Um, this is a normal strafing from the left and the right. Uh, but if you combine it with the forward key, um, you get a really funny movement if you look at the feet of my soldier. Um, but it's something that I use all the time. Um, I'm not really sure if it's like from this game or from another other game. Uh, but I really like it. Um, I use it a lot. Um, and I don't know, maybe it's just a personal thing, um, but it feels it feels okay. So maybe you can use it also to improve your movement in Battlefield 3. Uh, if you like this video, uh, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, see ya.